more than hanging out with female comedians, which is why I'm so excited to introduce the judges for my Funny Over 50 contest finale. Would you guys please welcome back comedian and host of the podcast, Kill Me Now. Give it up for Judy Gold. <laughs> Comedian and star of the new sitcom Mind Your Business on Bounce TV, give it up for Rolanda Watt. <laughs> and today's guest judge, who stars in The Bay on Tubi and was nominated for an Emmy for that. Wow. And you can see her at the Funny Bone this weekend in Hartford, Connecticut, my bestie, Kim Whitley. <laughs> So y'all, look at y'all, all month, all month we have been discussing the good and the bad things about aging. So Kim, you got anything you wanna add to it? Well girl, you know, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, you don't know nothing about this, but I wake up every morning and trip over these bad boys right here. <laughs> I got a new hairline, it starts on my chin and ends at my chest. <laughs> Me and my man both got after five shadows. Okay. It's, um, oh my God. There's a lot going on. And then, you know, Joshua, my son, he's 13 now. Yeah. But if I ain't got my eyelashes on, everybody think I'm his grandma. Oh, <laughs> no, girl. And if I don't wear my wig, they think I'm his uncle. I mean, uh <laughs> It's a lot. That's the bad. That's the bad. That's the bad. That's the bad. Then, then what are the, what's the good about aging? What, at the good is what we always talk about. I got a lot more wisdom. That's right. Right? Yes. I, don't, I don't walk past that dark alley anymore okay. at night. All right. I, I don't invite the Uber driver in because he's cute. Uh, <laughs> and give him a, a cup of tea, you know. Uh, you know, but there's senior discounts now. I get yes. a lot of senior discounts. I go to Disneyland. I get to get the little hub around. Okay? <laughs> uh, you know, and I, I watch the news. I'm very knowledgeable now. About the news. And, and talk radio, I listen to all that. So those are... <laughs> Why do you sound like Uncio? <laughs> that's why I say this is the, all the things that are, is good. I don't date dudes named Jamal anymore. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of things that I've learned. Okay, you got a lot. You got I, a lot, the good and the bad. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, it's so funny because I love Bevy Smith because she's got the mantra, it gets greater later. Yeah. Judy, do you agree? You know what's so great about later? What? Is you see the fruits of your labor. You know, mm. the fact that I raised two kids yes. doing something that I love, that I followed my dream, and they saw <laughs> me do that. Look, you know, we had ups and downs, but I never gave up. And I think yes. the lessons you give to your children, and then you see them as, as adults, as human beings, as respected human beings, that to me is the greatest gift that of is getting so older. great. Okay. And Rolanda, what about you? How do you feel about the it, when Bevy Smith says it gets greater later? It does. I agree with her 100,000%. And the reason it gets greater later is because you have more control over yeah. your own That's life. Right. You can do what you want to do. You can hang a, a sign out on your door that says, Gone Fishing. You don't have to deal <laughs> with anybody. <laughs> So a time doing what you're doing, Sherry, and that is a time to give back. Mm -hmm. We can't yeah. take all of this stuff we've you learned cannot. in all these years with us. So let's help others. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. You know, I love it because we're comics, so we always get to speak our mind. Kim, mm -hmm. you speak your mind. Have you ever gotten in hot water for speaking your mind? Only when I'm with you. Well, <laughs> that's it. That's it. You run your mouth, and I'm the one there talking about, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. That's enough. That's enough. We're not on the show right now. So normally, you know, I, I'd love to, but right now we're in this cancel culture. Uh -huh. You got to be very careful, and cancel means cancel checks. So, <laughs> so I, you know, I let you take the heat. <laughs> You do. <laughs> now, Judy, anytime you ever spoke your mind, it just, you know, got in the hot water. Are you, how long have you known me? Yeah, I, that um, was gonna say every day, I don't wanna give it away. I, it's, it's unbelievable. The stuff I read on Instagram, you know, like, and, and social media, of course. And it's from people who are sitting at home. Yes. And don't speak up, are afraid to speak up, but they're okay criticizing other people. Mm -hmm. And you have to realize that we're alone on stage. Absolutely you know? are, yep. And it's it's an amazing thing to stand behind a curtain. I I I, I remember when I can I say yes, this? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You know, we talked about this uh backstage, but the fact that you're standing behind Like you had to go on the tonight show. Tonight show. And yeah. you know you're Getting around over your fear. Fears. Yeah. Yes. 
And so, and you're standing behind the curtain. People don't, you don't see this, but you're standing behind the curtain and you're alone. For Lisa. all, you know, you're usually in front of an audience, but literally you're behind a curtain mm -hmm. and there's a man there, usually. <laughs> um, and they're like, just counting you down. And all that work you did to right. get to this moment, it's just you. And it's really scary, but you become a different person afterwards. When I you think. get up on yeah. that stage where you can power yeah. through. Absolutely. Yes. And that's what I wanted to yeah. say because Gene and you know, and, and I wanted to, did you ever do anything that got you in hot water, Rolanda? Uh, not in hot water, but I could relate to those nerves. Yeah, nerves yeah. yeah. A dumb me, I had a Broadway producer who came to LA and asked me, Would you like to star in Menopause the Musical? Right. And I said, sure. Of course. I just didn't know it was all in Spanish. Oh, girl. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I used to speak fluent Spanish in college and thought it might come back. Well, <laughs> uh, I worked, I had to work my can off. I would go home, I would cry, I would throw up. I was like, why did I do this to myself? Yes. And as I went through it, just taking one bite at a time and one bite at a time, when we got to the end of that production and I had done a song and dance and a whole play in Spanish, I said, I'll never do that again, <laughs> but I was so proud of myself. You never know what you can do. You know, women are like tea bags, they say. You yeah. never know how strong you Eleanor are till you throw them in hot water. Till so you throw them in hot water. Right. Eleanor Roosevelt said that's that. Right. Okay. Right. You gotta do things that's got you. You gotta, gotta do stuff that cheers you. Yes, you know, it's so funny because Gina, uh, Gina, Nicole, and, and Juanita Lo Lolita, I know that some, you know, the nerves are just like, <sighs> yeah. especially no, doing this. Scary. Kemp, how do you deal with your nerves? Oh, well, you've been with me. You know, we've been on the road many times mm -hmm. and you know I actually you know I have a little thing before we go out I write my set then I drink a half a glass of wine and then we have a prayer circle we did we, did, but, we but I, I usually do the prayer and you got a whole sermon <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's what how I deal with nerves right she's with, trying out new and, material and, and her sermon with, with the Lord exactly yeah, so I think that I just have a ritual right there and I, I remember one time I did Apollo uh, uh, my first time the on TV, theater, yeah. right? And I wouldn't go out, and the man was counting me behind the yeah. curtain. He was like, "Go!" And I wouldn't go out, and then finally he pushed me through the door. He was like, "You gotta go!" And they had a little lip. I fell onto stage. <laughs> oh my god! And I, but when you say how strong women are, I just remember I had the mic, and I just said, "I'm tripping." <laughs> <laughs> Boom! And they, and that's how it. It is. Yeah. It's such a trip. You know, I know, and talking about being on The Tonight Show, I, I did The Tonight Show uh, with Jay Leno, and yeah. standing behind that curtain, I was so nervous, right? so nervous, yeah. and I just kept going, you've prepared for yeah. this moment for so long. You are prepared. You've done the work. And before I knew it, they opened up that curtain, and I had to walk out, and I killed, and I kept going, and, and so it was just a... And you a, were in the moment. In the Listen, moment. Listen, when God gives you the toy, yeah. he gives you the batteries to go with it. Oh, <laughs> all right, now! <laughs> Never thought of it that way, yeah, but that's yeah. the truth. I, now, I, I we, don't know if we put that together. <laughs> <laughs> not I that love toy, this. Kim, not that yeah. toy. Okay, that's what Kim went. <laughs> I am looking out at my friend, a special guest we got in the audience. She's one of the funniest comics yeah. I know, Tammy Pescatelli. Yeah. Tammy. Hey. Hey. We all know you, we love you. Now, you mentored all of our contestants, Tammy, and I want to thank you for doing that. So, what do you think makes Gina Nicole and Juanita Lolita special? Well, first of all, it was my honor. I really appreciate it, because they are both very special. They're both prepared. They're both ready for this moment. The difference is, is that Gina brings it from more of a suburban mom okay. perspective, and I think a Juanita Lolita brings it from more like a southern mom perspective. Yeah. So, I think you're going to see that both of them just take this moment and just shine. Oh my gosh, all right. Yeah. That's what I love. Yeah. Two different perspectives and point of view. We're gonna have a good time.